Hey guys, this is Aaron. We're going to go through and take this threaded rod we created last week and make it into an actual screw. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to triple click, right click, and make the threaded rod we created into a group. Um, this is just to isolate the geometry as we start creating the new geometry. Um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click and hide that temporarily. I'm going to grab a circle now and I'm going to start here in the middle and just pull it out uh, from the origin. I do want it to come up from the origin because that's where the rod is centered as well. So this is by doing it in the same point I don't have to worry about realigning it afterwards. Um, what I want to do is turn this into a cone. So what I'm going to do is break the surface. I'm going to come in with a line and I'm going to draw a line across the middle through the middle point and I'm going to draw a second line from that point out, in this case, along the red axis. Really, all I'm trying to do is get a point right here in the middle. So you create, see that I created an end point. Now, I'm going to use the move command to grab that point. And as I start to slide around, it's going to try to keep it in plane. What I'm going to do is hit the up arrow on the keyboard. That's going to force it to only move up and down. And because it's going to auto fold that, it's going to give me a nice clean comb when I pull that straight down. I have a couple lines on here. Um, I could select and soften or I can just hit the erase key, hold down the modifier key, I'm sorry, the E key to activate erase, hold down the modifier key to smooth those edges. Down here, option on Mac, control on Windows. All right, so with that, I've created the geometry that will be the tip of my screw. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna hop over to uh, my outliner. I'm going to grab that group that I just made invisible and with it highlighted I'm going to turn the entity info box on where I can come in here and just toggle it back to being visible. See that? It's pretty easy. Um, I can select things that aren't visible by grabbing them in the outliner and then I can modify them here in the entity info. So there we go. There's my my screw, my uh, the tip that will be the screw head. I'm going to go ahead and grab this geometry. I just triple click to select it all. And I'm going to move it, and I'm going to arbitrarily click a point out in space as my move from point, and hit the up axis or up arrow to uh, lock to that vertical axis. Now, again, I'm not going through a very specific uh, machine size uh, precision when I'm making this screw. I'm really just kind of making something that looks like a screw that I can resize later. Um, so what I want to do here with this tip is I want to make sure that the tip does not break all the way through uh, my bottom surface. If it breaks through the bottom surface, I'm not going to have a, a clean cut on here, so um, maybe I'll bring it down just a teeny bit more, and you'll see why. Like I said, once we intersect this, you'll see why that's important. All right, so it's close to the edge, but not lapping over that edge there. All right, now what I can do is I'm going to select my threaded rod and explode it. And now I'm going to do a group select of all the geometry, right click, intersect faces with selection. All right, now I just go through and clean up. I get rid of this piece of the cone. And as I come down here, I can see where that cone started to cut the threads so that this surface is going to go away, this surface is going to go away, this surface, which used to be my bottom, is going to go away. And now I just have a bunch of lines to clean up. Um, obviously, the easiest way to clean up lines is to triple click on a line, like this circle up here. If I triple click or even double click for that matter, that's, actually, this is a circle. I can single click. That's easy. And I'm going to hit the delete key. These ones down here will be a little more work. Um, I don't want to try to use the eraser key. You can see that it would be kind of a mess. I'd have to zoom in here super tight to get in there with the, the cursor. Um, but if I try to double click or triple click and select all selected geometry, so you get the whole thing. That's not going to work. But what I can do is I can break this geometry away from the rest of the model by just picking that first piece and deleting. See, it's no longer it's no longer collected. Excuse me. Now it's no longer connected to the rest of the geometry. I just have to do that at any point that this geometry connects with the other geometry. So if I spin around here and see that, well, actually still connecting somewhere. Oh, right down here, if I follow this back, 
and see this piece is tying in uh, maybe right there. There we go, triple click. That gets it. And uh, I might use Erase Key now to just get rid of these extra lines on the surface. And what that created was basically I just went and carved a sharp point into the threads of that rod. Um, this process I'm doing right here too, if I'm not too worried about geometry, I could actually do a group select and just have this all uh, smoothed. It would, it would disappear if I turn on smoothing, but I'm actually getting rid of it because it's actually technically extra geometry. So there we go. We got a nice, nice tip on there in the middle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw a screw head on top real quick. Very similar process. I'm going to start by triple clicking and making a group again. I'm going to start with another circle. This point, this time I can actually, uh, let's see where's the best place to start. You know, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Hide that. Start with a circle right here. Pull it out. Um, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did last time with my lines. I'm going to draw a line across one side the other, crossing through the middle. Another line coming off the middle point. And then I can use the move key to drag this down the blue axis to give me some depth. Uh, I'm looking for a, like a wood screw kind of head here. Looks good. I'll use erase uh, with the modifier key to smooth those lines. And then I can draw a single line along the edge here, which will close that up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to detail this out a little bit. I'm going to pull this up just slightly. And then I'm going to come in here and draw a line, not straight across, but one segment to the right of straight across. And then the opposite here. And I'm going to use push-pull to grab that surface and pull it down. Once is going to snap to this uh, original circle. And I'm going to grab it again and pull it down maybe a little further like that. That's going to give me my uh, flathead slot in there. So at this point I could erase this piece. You can see that causes some problems. I end up with a gap, a hole in my geometry. I have to use intersect again. So I'm going to do a group select, right click, intersect faces with selection. And now I can come in here and erase erase to get rid of all these extra line segments that I don't need. Same thing on the other side. And that gave me the basic geometry for my screw head. I'm going to do this. I'm going to triple click and make this a group. Come back into outline and grab my original group. If I had used component instead of group, by the way, I would actually see names here rather than just saying group. Uh, I do know this is my invisible group because it wasn't selected. And because when I pick it in empty info, the eyeball goes away. So I'm going to take my finger and poke this eye. And now I see my two groups. I'm going to grab my screw head group, move, hit up arrow to constrain to the vertical, vertical axes. And I'm going to bring it up about there. That looks pretty good. And now, just like I did down at the bottom, I can select everything explode and then right click and intersect faces with selection and what that's going to do that's going to merge this all back together see that look at that looks good um, what did happen ooh, I got a smoothed out line here for some reason so I'll just clean that back up that would bother me um, what I can do now I'll just select and delete this line real quick because I can see inside I can say delete delete delete. Um, I think that's everything. And then I can do the same thing I did before where I can get rid of that extra line. That looks pretty good. All right. So now one more line is going to close my screw head back up. And there we go. A couple simple steps. And uh, I have a full screw drawn inside of SketchUp Shop using nothing but native commands. You like this video? Like the content we shared? Give us a like down below. Let us know what you like and you don't like in the comments so we can make more skill builders that address the issues that you want to see. Thank you.